my glasses and everything. I was like, they noticed, they noticed, they moved the branches, they noticed. I'm going to put the other side of the field on. Alright, y'all, y'all see this. It is official. Okay, I got other documents to go along with this. I'm gonna check the latitude and longitude here soon. The minute well, I got, well, I've gotten this up, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna check that out too. Okay. Here's the other documents. Um, I'll read it to y'all. It says, in the Circuit Court of Sarasota County, Florida, Probate Division, in the re in the re estate of Brian Lodging, deceased, file number, division number, which we don't have that yet. Petition of summary administration in the state, multiple petitioners. Petitioners Robert M Roberta Maria Laundry and Christopher John Laundry allege petitioner have an interest in the above estate as beneficiaries of the descendant. The address, addresses are set forth in paragraph three and same if an office address of their attorney and set forth at the end of this petition. Okay. Um, Descendant Brian Laundry, whose last known address was 4343 Paso Avenue, Northport, Florida. And the last four digits of the social number died October 20th, Northport, Florida. Date of death, oh, the date of the death descendant was um, the, 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 whatever, the exiled in Sarasota County, Florida, and died innocent in, 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 in the state. So known, far as known, the names of the beneficiaries of this estate, including the descendant surviving spouse. The what? Including the descendant's surviving spouse, if any, their addresses and relationships to, to this. You said that me and mother and father are by Paso Avenue. That was followed by Miss Rushing, Clerk, Fear Through Four. Okay. Alright, here we go. This, this is what catches the eye. Brian Laundry was worth an estimate of $20,000. He given his mother and his father, his mother and his father both, ten thousand dollars. Okay. Uh, petition summary. Mister Innocent states according accordance was uh, true to best knowledge. Signed on eighth December, twenty twenty one. That's petitioners. State of Florida County. The following, the, the forging instrument was acknowledged before me by means of physical presence. Online notarization or online not notarization, not, notarization 12 8 2021 by Roberta. Maria Laundry, who is personally known to me or proceed <coughs> as identification. Um, William Garcia. Okay, okay. You signed it. Boom. Okay. The forging instrument, same thing as that right there. That's by. Yeah, uh, he got the same thing. Okay. Uh, 
What's that mean? Let the petitioner. Paragraph 11. Okay. I'm sorry. Alright, this right here. This is death certificate I loaned off yesterday. Better vital statistics. Certification of death. Maybe. Name, bro, laundry found November 20th. Facility on Name Street address. Hmm. Oh, shit. Never in the U.S. Armed Forces. Uh, white. Never married. No, no spells. Um, this right here, if they can get, if they can get sketchy. Informant, uh, informant. Okay, informant, informant. Okay, listen. Funeral facility and place of dis deposition information. Informant's name. Roberto Laundry. Okay, informant. Funeral facility. Relationship. Okay. No, we already know that. Going home cremation services. Going home cremation services. Okay. Never heard of. It. Never. It don't sound right. Okay. Um. Method. Of de method of deposition. Cremation. Southwest cremation. Punta Gorda, Florida. Punta Gorda. Okay. Certifier information. Okay. Associate Medical Examiner. Okay. Medical Examiner case number. Got that there. Um, time of death was found at 820. I'm not going with the time thing there. Wilson, certifier's name. Wilson Antonio Rossett Jr. Okay, his license number is there. Name of attending, name of an attending. Practitioner, if other, not in it. Okay. See right here, it says state register. Register. That don't sound right. And let's see, I think we got another one here. The Circuit Court of Sarasota County for arrest in the state of Brown Lodge and deceased. Okay. That's pretty much just a motion. They're not here supposed to be their attorney. This is their attorney. Okay, why isn't... Why isn't, uh, Bertolino no on it? Good point, huh? Yeah... I guess that's his law firm. Maybe not that's his personal. Alright, let's see what's next. Oh yeah, that's the receipt. Sarasota receipt of transaction. Sarasota County. Clerk of Circuit Court. <laughs> okay. He. Petition of summary. Um, receipt number. On behalf of. Who? Received from. See this? I think I sketched out here a little bit. I just okay. Don't make any sense. Reference number. <coughs> Don't make a bit of damn sense there. <sighs> Excuse me. Now let me know what you think in the comments below. 
And again, what's it say, huh? Payments. Dang, it costs $345. Okay, whatever. So, mate, right here. And, but anyway, y'all leave me a comment below. Let me know what y'all think. And make sure y'all subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Because I'm pretty sure I'll, you know, I got a way to get documents from. So, yeah. I get. I got another way. I got a. You know, getting documents through this place. So, yeah. Um, If I've missed it, let me. Like, if I missed. Like, if I'm again. I was reading this off. And if y'all seen something I didn't see. Um, comment below also. Uh. Make sure y'all subscribe, hit a like, hit that like, make sure, yeah, subscribe, like, hit that notification bell, and, uh, share this as many times as y'all can, because there's a lot of people out there that don't think he's dead, and I was one of them until I actually got this email from the, uh, my source. <clears throat> but until then, this thing, the IP Outdoors TV, signing off. Peace.